Hi guys, it's Sunday morning, so we're up and ready. Every time I start the vlog, I say it's Sunday morning. It's not, it's 20 past 12, so just got lunchtime. Don't do mornings anymore. No, we don't do mornings. Um, no, I've been up quite early actually. We've had breakfast, got ready, and we're just on our way to the forest now. Um, we're gonna try and do some stickering. Um, and yeah, show you what the lovely forest near us is like. So we shall catch up with you when we get there. What's Potato Man doing? So we've just come to the forest, managed to find a parking space. Lovely day, so mild compared to last week where it was freezing. Richie's rocking his uh, Defender of Animals top. <laughs> Kids are going up there. Honey follows them everywhere, doesn't she? Rich? <laughs> Here she comes. Look. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not too fast. Oh. <laughs> Put your brakes on. Come on, we've only just started. I want to go that way. Look, Mum. What? Looks like um stream. Know, it's look. a little stream, isn't it? Oh, it's not a stream. It's very, very spring-like out. It's really nice. Oliver's got his coat off already, haven't you, Ollie? Yeah, huh? And he's loving life. Oh, honey. <laughs> Drinking the muddy water. Come on, Boo. So we've never walked this way before. Looks like they've chopped loads of trees down there. Sectioned all that area off. See all that, Florence? Look. Mm -hmm. Chopped all the trees down. What do you think that's for? Um, where the, the, they do things for paper and stuff, and yeah, and they cut down. The what do you think they're clearing it for a reason? Maybe, maybe for crops. Or some more cows. Yeah. Got well, so many cows in this area, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Dairy farm after dairy farm. We go past, and it's quite disturbing, isn't it? Yeah. Because you see all these things on the internet, and. You know, it's shocking. And then when you see on your doorstep that there's dairy farms and you see the conditions they're in. And you can't help them. You can't help them. It makes you very angry, doesn't it? Yeah. There's cows and they're walking around in thick mud, laying on cold concrete floors. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're living a life of misery. I'll get it. No, I'll leave it. We'll get it on my back. And why people don't Ooh. try plant-based milks? Oh my God, down. On, Ditch we'll dairy. We we'll get it on the way back, won't we? People, oh, the problem is people are just so addicted to milk and cheese, and they're not prepared to to listen or watch things or you know. If you see it with your own eyes, though, if you saw the misery, especially where we are, all them dairy farms. They're literally, we drove past the other day and there was this big shed, big like hangar thing, 
and all you could see was the bottom half of it couldn't you you could just see cows just laying there in their little sections and it was freezing cold wet floor wet concrete floor no bedding just laying there udders udders huge and swollen and it's just disgusting if you think you know you, you think you know about the dairy industry and you're still drinking milk you're still eating cheese still eating yogurt then you really don't know I'll leave some links below and then you can take the choice whether to watch them or not and if you do watch them and you continue then I've got no words I don't believe when people say I don't need to see I already know I don't they believe don't, that they've seen it they don't know no if you knew you wouldn't no it's too powerful isn't it if you see abuse and misery and you still continue then you seriously need to look at yourself I've lost one child is his coat still on the tree yeah why are you not helping him because we're leaving it there to see when we get back <laughs> oh I think mummy's gonna have to go back and help him that's not fair is it Well, we're so high up. Just going up to the top there. I'm not sure what's up there. Seems to be where most people are heading. Which way are we going? Go that way. Big lake down there. What way are we going, Florence? I think we're going this way. Come on then. Is there? Look, look. Let's walk down there then. Let's have a look. Do some wrapping for mummy. Go on. Well, you always have to mess around and try to do. I try to do what's doing. I try to play cool. Baby, I play by rules. Everything's better with you. See, Jazzy, you love on a regular. Gotta be nice. I'm a level of shiny horse me up. I think need no no sheep bag gate bag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> if you was to um have a bird food, table yeah. and put, we could do that, get some nuts to put a bit of that bird thing in the middle of that grass, you get some good um pictures of animals of uh, birds. <laughs>
guys I'm just going to finish the video by just showing you a small selection of dairy um, dairy free products that we've got um, in our fridge at the moment bearing in mind we're coming to the end of the week and we need to stock up I need to do a shop um, we've tried so many different alternatives and you will find the one that you like so we've tried all the branded ones like Vio Life, but always seem to come back to the Asda Free From cheese. So you've got the mature cheddar there, and as you can see, it's almost gone. And we had that this evening on jacket potatoes. And they also do um, a grated mozzarella, which is really nice. They're so cheap. Um, I think they also do their own vegan um, cheese, but it's not as nice as the Free From one. Um, and then this we tried the other day, so it's a free from coconut oil alternative to halloumi and it's really, really nice. So I tasted it straight from the packet and I thought, oh, that's not that great. But um, when you heat it up, when you grill it and you put it in pita breads, it is literally just like halloumi. It's really nice. Rich picked these up, so these are again, I think these are just under a pound or just over a pound, so they're soft cheeses, so you've got, um, and again, it's the free from range. Um, so this is just soft cheese, and I've tasted it. Clearly marked vegan, it's not even focusing. There we go. And that is, um, it tastes just like, um, oh, I've lost me words now, tastes just like Philadelphia. And then you've got this one, um, which is a garlic and herb. Um, it smells lovely, I've not tried that yet, but they're just so cheap and they just, you know, this one is really good on homemade pizza because it really does melt and it really does give um, like a crisp, you know, like what you would get on a sort of dairy pizza. Milks, I mean, your sport for choice. These are just a couple we've got in at the moment. So we've got the Asda Oat. It's quite rich, um, as it says, rich and smooth. This is a soya one. So I tend to put oat in tea, coffee, soya I use a lot for cooking, pancakes and um, yeah, different things. This is one of the many butters that you can get. We really like this. So it's Vitalite dairy free, plant based. Um, we stock up on that. Some more milks here. So this is from, um, I think this was Morrison's. Yeah, clearly marked vegan. So I've just picked two of those up. Um, I've not tried those, but I've never really been fussed with the milk I like them all and um, there's also a cocoa one that we get spelt K-O K-O that's really nice um not dairy but you cannot beat Hellman's vegan mayo it is delicious we literally stock up on this um I don't know why you would buy regular mayo that's got eggs in eggs is a seriously cruel industry I shall leave a link below to all the things that you can go and check out for yourself um, but obviously if you go for the vegan mayo, there's no eggs in there. And as you know, eggs is just basically chicken periods. So I don't want to be feeding the children that. Yogurts, these are again, um, just so simple. They're just Asda free from yogurts. They do all different ones. Um, and we like all the branded ones. Another mayo. So this is just Asda free from. It's not sponsored by the way. I just happen to have a which is always popping into Asda on the way home from work. But this one, yeah, cheap and cheerful, really nice. Coming over to here, we've got an oat single cream alternative. Nice on cakes, puddings. Um, we also get squirty cream. Um, there's nothing you miss out on, really. An ice cream, one of many. All the supermarkets all do their own dairy-free vegan ice cream. This is just a Swedish glace. Um, and this is vanilla, but you can get it in raspberry, um, many different flavours. And this, I can't show you what it's like because we literally demolished it. But it's um, Speciality Cheese and it's by Soul Cheese and it's their blue one. Um, we get the original and we get the blue. Um, and as you can see, 100% plant-based. So, next time you're out, if you see any of these cheeses, milks, mayo, yogurts. I mean, there's nothing here that the kids don't like and we're not um, particular to one brand or one supermarket, we shop all over the place. So next time you're out, go for the soya, go for the oat, there's almond milk, hazelnut milk, you really don't need to be drinking cow's milk. That is for baby calves that have been taken away from their mums. Um, and again, please, please look below 
check out some of the links and just educate yourself because like many vegans, many people who turn vegan, you think you know, but you really don't know. Hope you like this video guys. Take care. Bye. Put it one in my face first. You have to say throw. You have to give that instruction. Throw. Throw. Oh. <laughs> oh, would you, would you allow that? Do it through your legs, Florence. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs>